guys. So I'm very excited to be here. Um, it's allnews.ng. I'm so excited. Um, it's probably Nigeria, so Nigerian brand. Anytime, anywhere, you know. Uh, my name is Sam Uche Anyamele. Uh, that's my name. I'm from Abia State, but born in Lagos. <laughs> Okay, um, green up, green up. Uh, you know, I had what I call a tripartite um, lifestyle, what, what I call a trio, triangular kind of life. Um, it was either at home, school, church, church, school, home, you know, school, church, home, just like that, basically. Um, my, my parents are on the Assemblies of God Church, that's our root church, so uh, for some reason we're tied to church. You know, but I didn't even do, you know, school lessons or home lessons and all that. Once you're leaving church, Gary Rehaza. <laughs> Rehazas happened in church, and that's actually what has sourced, you know, my root, and um, by God's grace, my foundation has been laid upon that. Um, in the Assemblies of God Church, then we had what we call the Children Educational Department, where we used to, I think the, the essence, of, I hope that still exists in the Assemblies of God Church today. Uh, basically, what, what I have to do was to ensure the children were not um, carried away with wiles and caprices of uh, whims and caprices of the enemy because there's a lot of distractions that comes with you know you have to be at one lesson one school then from there one playground before you know what's happening there's a lot of influences on uh, the, the teenage the adolescent you know so that helped a few of us um, at that time to grow then from there of course you're back home and um, I had a very strict father he's late now me so rest a uh, very strict father and my mother was you know the opposite uh, so for some reason, you get beaten here, you get pampered there, you know. So um, being the first, there was nobody ahead to ask how far. So I was always asking from those within the community, you know, the Egbons, you know, Brother Sule, Brother Shafi, Brother Matthew, you know, I had a lot of, you know, the Obas around me because, of course, we're born in the soul or some, that kind of a worry boy, if you understand. Kitty, me. Big camera. <laughs> All right, so um, growing up was just like that. But then there's something striking for me for growing up. Um, there's just um, too many things I didn't want to be like within my environment. Um, I hated my environment. <laughs> you know, so because I couldn't change my environment, I had to change myself. Uh, so that's what it's been like. And um, I thank God for today that I can look back and say, oh, thank you, Jesus that I passed through those experiences because it made me stronger, better, tougher, and then healthier. Day of Atonement, I can't forget that film. Um, it was directed by Teko Benson, produced by one lady, Blessing, Madame Blessing. I don't know where Madame Blessing is now. I'm, maybe she's located abroad or something. You know, this film just came like one of those regular films. And then before then, I'd been known for the bad boy, you know. Richard, bad boy. <laughs> you know, and then that film came. Um, of course, went through all the auditions. In, in those days, there were serious auditions. It used to be, you know, you break the audition. Okay, these ones have qualified. The first 20, you still break them down, break them down until you get the lead cast. It was barely, basically, by merit of the art. Um, it's a bit um, twatted today, but it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> you know, and then that came. But something striking for me was because when I read that script and I noticed that the character was a Christian brother. He was um, a youth fellowship leader in um, school, I think so. Yeah. So I took it, I took it to God. I said, God, I'm very good. <laughs> this is on a church program. Uh, they helped me. You know, like I prayed, I prayed on it. If I, I, if I can remember, if I can recall, I, I did some fasting. Yeah. You know, because that role for me was the Christian role that nobody really knew that part of me. But then I know that I grew in a Christian background. I said it was just a, an opportunity for me to showcase my true nature, not what you guys, you know, see on the screen. And so we got them set, we filmed, you know, Grace Amma was actually my younger sister in that film. I had um, Liz Benson, I had um, Justice Asiri, God rest um, Justice Asiri, you know, and a couple of veteran actors, you know, then. You know, Liz Benson and Justice Asiri were, of course, the parents, they of the, um, the other, okay, there was to be James too, yeah, that was the other guy, you know, so there they were a lot of influences for me on set, and I, I, of course, these are people you look up to, and I needed to, you know, make it happen, but something striking, after the production, oh, it was beautiful, oh, nice one, young actor, and all, and then the next thing, Amma Ward, Amma Ward actually started in 2005, you know, so 2006 was like the second edition, 
But for that particular category was the maiden edition. It was the first time, you know, they opened up a category for uh, the promising actor. And I remember when they said, um, okay, I spoke to the director, Teko Benson, <laughs> just listen to this. And he said, okay, he had submitted the films, you know, for uh, nominations and all. And um, for some reason, I called him back and I said, oh, I hear the nominations are out. That um, Alpha. And he said, oh, no, 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 he's not sure that, um, you know, the film made any of those nominations. I'm like, oh, really? I, but I have a conviction in my spirit that... <laughs> There will be nominations for some of us. I said, oh, really? Okay. Come to the office. We got to them. He said, oh, they even brought the pack. And then let's check the pack. I, I, I don't think there's anything. I said, please check. I have a conviction in my spirit because, you know. And then the next thing, we opened the pack. And it was actually my letter that was the first on the letters. I can't forget that experience. In fact, the film, I was the only actor that was nominated in the film. And that's the truth. And I was... And the, the film was nominated for special effects. I don't know if you've seen that film, you know, the slap. Um, I think it was just a series that slapped um, somebody, or somebody slapped somebody. Shan, that slap had serious effect on the face, and the face had burnt, you know. Was, so, was, so the film won special effect, and then the promising actor. And I remember that the person looked at me and said, Who are you? I said, I'm just dedicated to Christ. Yeah, because that struck for me. And the truth is, after that award, he properly introduced me to the Nollywood, you know, sector because it was clear that, oh, there's an actor somewhere, uh, look out for him. And you look like I'm an old boy, I am a young girl. <laughs> okay, the internet was just struggling between, you know, finding his feet. Uh, well, well, I started a bit early. Um, I remember my first TV uh, production was 98, 99. Oof. Um, schemes, yeah, that was the um, series. Schemes directed by um, Tuji Ba Mishimi, uh, produced by Chao Su Yemi. We had the Ralph Wadi Kings, you know. I was a small boy, so don't think that. <laughs> don't think that we were adults then, you know. Um, the internet that has a lot of influence. In fact, um, I remember one of those things. Some of us were a bit jubilant about, you know, when um, African Magic came on, was that, oof, thank God, we, we can have, you know, a, a firm that is responsible for archives. Because somehow, because there was not so much of technology then, you, you have to get to, I remember a mechanic's office, you know, in Sulele, there to go and be looking for one CD or VCD that you did some four or five years because you may not even find the case or the, you know, cover. It used to be very... For. But we thank God for technology. So there's been a lot of influence, you know, from the internet. Although the influence has also made our mothers. <laughs> so it, that's a discussion for another day. It, it, it has both positive influence and has, a, in fact, more of negative influence actually than the positive. Because today you have very much uncensored content on air that making so much money and then having negative influence on you know the entire sector. But on the positive note, I mean, today, you could get a call, you could get a mail, you could get from anywhere. I'm sure you're, you're probably part of what you're even, questions you're drawing from here, part of probably what you saw on Wikipedia or what you saw on uh, Google or something, that I probably didn't even submit myself. You know, they just pick from here random media and content and all that. So there's been a lot of improvement um, before you even have um, um, a, a, an asterisk or a blue flag on any of your um, pages, it means you would have been searched out, you know. So there's a lot of um, um, positive to it, and I thank God I'm still here. <laughs> so I'm still going to have a lot of benefits to it, especially with, for those of us who have spent a couple of um, decades in this. Yeah, of course, there's something even happening um, recently. There's um, commissioning of um, black or African content, Nigerian content. You know, we actually got a story, yeah? And then we have the resources, it's just the harnessing and the management, it's just, just been an issue. I just also hope that um, some of the foreigners who's gone, you know, for to have relationship with the Netflix, the Amazon, will not destroy that relationship for posterity's sake, you know, because somehow it looks like we now want to get all, you know, forgetting that there is actually an industry which is beyond an individual. So what that fellow should be thinking is the institution called, you know, Dollywood. Um, there's a lot, and, and, and that's really helped us. Um, 
Um, what's that film that made the Nollywood Oscars um, sub submission? Um, no, something made. Milk made got to that point where it became like the only um, content from Africa. That was, that was big from one of us, you know, here. And that's because with the um, um, communication and uh, sim um, relationship, you know, symbiotically with Amazon, with um, uh, Netflix and all, they raised the bar for us. So now production value, it's important. You want to you want to be sure what the sound is. You want to be sure what the costume is. You don't want to just place it on any white or green background. You want to be sure that this set actually matches the story. And that has improved us in Hollywood. I mean, I've been on one or two, three sets where the detail is from the pre-production to the principal photography to the post-production is nothing to even joke with. So, I mean, they've made and done more good to us than ham, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you see, just because we're in the media, it, it looks like um, we've lost more people. We really haven't lost more people. I mean, if you look at the ratio of deaths, really, you know, if you go to the National Population Commission and they tell you the number of deaths, you know, in a community or you know, in an industry. But because we're in the media, one person passes in the media, it's so pronounced like 10 people are gone. The, the death, um, unfortunately, you know, has affected us in a way or the other because it now looks like, oh, what's wrong with these Nollywood people? But the truth is, bankers die, insurance brokers die. In fact, coronavirus has even exposed a lot of um, health issues that a lot of people, you know how many people have died? That they are not even in the records. <laughs> you know, who have probably gone to the traditional way of sorting out things and then nobody hears that. You know, but because we're in the media, it means that's why we need to also be very careful. Uh, for a few of us, we need to take our health really principally, you know, cut, cut down on the lifestyle, you know, because we're there, you want to do movements here and there from, in fact, the weekend has a way of starting from Wednesday into. <laughs> Monday morning, you know, because we don't go to the office in the morning and come. So it looks like we have too much time and a few of us really, you know, get mesmerized as a result of those. I, I mean, I was in the music earlier, so I know what I'm talking about. There's just so much groove, yeah. But um, coronavirus has actually taught us to help ourselves because underlining ailments are standing by. So just one trigger. I mean, I, I was um, an artist, a supervising producer for uh, a particular film called um, um, Pandemic, produced under Home Vida. Home Vida is um, uh, an NGO from Abuja, sponsored by P, uh, P, P, D, C, too many grammar. Anyway, what we're trying to say is that the content of that film is a guy who is careless to a wife who is very careful. He, the guy, uh, asymptomatic, the lady got coronavirus, but because she had in um, underlying ailments, as little in quote as um, asthma, she couldn't make it. And so that's a lot of lesson that, look, how well are you taking care of yourself? How much of those content are you putting into your system that exposes your health to danger? I mean, that's apart from the spiritual perspective that I really don't want to talk about. I had, you know, being introduced as a pastor, uh, just a growing Christian in church, <laughs> walking on my salvation with fear and trembling. <laughs> All right, so basically, the deaths are um, not palatable. I mean, we just uh, buried Chikwe Jiro, uh, Mr. Pro Prolific, um, who's done so much, and of course, in Hollywood. Uh, and his, his was even like a satire. He died on a Christmas day. I mean, you can imagine. Um, uh, may his soul rest. Uh, we're just trusting that God will keep a lot of us alive. In, I like the way that you're say um, on or uh, uh, Gino Sirawa, uh, which literally say the days will be farther, you know, to ourselves, you know, the days of death, actually, you know. So may, may God help us and keep each and every one of us really, so that we are not also exposing ourselves to the death that is already a given. I am sure you enjoyed yourself with this video. Please click the subscribe.